Patrice, you got to tell your story. Oh, shit. <laughs> Dude, that is a funny fucking story, man. <laughs> that is a really funny fucking story. <laughs> Listen to what happened to Patrice oh, since the last time we saw him. Yeah, it was like it was like Christmas time. I, was, I had drove, driven home, went to, uh, you know, go to Boston for a second. So I'm driving back, <clears throat> driving back through, you know, Connecticut. You know, you know, you know, you drive and you get that, that, I'm um, that scared, tired, like that tired that you just, you go, oh my God, I'm getting ready to die, <laughs> tired, yeah. like, like you, you don't you, have any more confidence in yourself that you can keep yourself like away. You go, like you, you're no, like, oh damn, it's cold, so the, all the windows are down. Yeah, yep. <laughs> yep. fucking young Jeezy. Yeah, I'm up, motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> Blast and that punch in your leg, and just that type of. It's tired. Well, yep. I went to sleep a couple of times. Oof, so I said, I got to find some. I was getting ready to pull over to the side. Do you start uh, having the logic in your head where you're like, ah, I could close my eyes for five seconds? No, Jeez, man. Not when you're driving. No. I, you've never done that? No. no I've no. sat there. Oh, I've done that. Petrified, like, just like Patrice is talking. Oh, I, I think I can give it just, <laughs> all right, just two seconds. No. <laughs> <laughs> I sit there with, with your eyes open going, motherfucker, you got to stay you've away. You've never negotiated Drive. with yourself? No, no, I have, but it's and been, said, I think nope. I could do a couple seconds here? No. Because you're so tired no. that your logic is starting to go? No, my logic goes in a different way. Where, where you're driving, your eyes are open, you, you're watching the road, and you're going, Motherfucker, stay awake, stay awake, stay awake, stay awake. Stay awake. All right. Stay awake. And, and then, like, oh, the trees, road, sky... Ooh. Yeah, and you're just out, and then what the fuck? I was just telling you to stay awake, asshole. At, like at first, first you're driving, and your hand is at the bottom. You know, at where, where your fit, your hand is pointed up, and it's you're, uh -huh. you're controlling the, the, of the bottom. Of the, then when you get those scares, you you put your left hand out the window, hang out the window, drive with your hand on the top. That's okay, I'm, I'm up now. Uh, no, I I'm that kind yeah. of. Horrified, tired, so I gotta stop. I do the Harvey Keitel fucking Reservoir Dogs chant to myself. You gotta stay awake. <laughs> Come on. I smack myself in the face. Stay awake. Stay awake. You're gonna fucking stay awake. I don't know. How, like the truck drivers, they must oh. know tricks to. Yeah, they know tricks are right. It comes in a bottle. Or it comes in fucking a piece of tin foil or whatever the fuck. Oh shit! It's called crystal oh methadrine. <laughs> corny. I really am a corny motherfucker. Because I'm thinking, boy, those guys, man, how do they do it? Cocaine. Coke, crystal meth, whatever <laughs> keeps you fucking going. Whatever gets the load there on time. Oh my god! <laughs> From wrapping up a family of I'm five. I'm sitting there thinking they must have. Oh, they 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 channel Yum Curry, the magical <laughs> truck god that gives them energy and strength. Truck you know? god. <laughs> truck god. <laughs> The truck god. Yeah, there's a truck god. You snort it through a straw. You smoke it. <laughs> Whatever. Oh my god. So I uh, start so driving and shit, and I and I and I go. I see a McDonald's in the in the distant. You know. Oh shit. <sighs> McDonald's a uh, fucking rest stop. Yeah. I just do 95 till I get there. Pull in there. Park. I go. Thank God. I lean my seat back. Now you know what I time drive. What was this about? About three in the morning. Oh, I always oh, leave way to go, wow. Mr. Jordan. Wow. I, way to go, Mr. I, Jordan. I, I just always leave late. I just always just go go there and come back, like, leave at 12. Yeah. No traffic. I kind of like the no traffic angle. Yeah, no traffic. Go down, go down to Merritt or 95 from time to time. Yeah. So I, so I park, I'm parked there. I put my seat back. Now, I drive a, a Suburban, and it's, it's, it's niggered up big time. Like, you know, <laughs> I got I got 22s just so I don't fuck because I drive in New York. I will get 24s. Yeah. But. You know the potholes fuck your shit up. So <laughs> I got tent that's like as black as anything, you know, and the whole nine. So you know, I I put my seat back. Whew! Thank God. Put my um my skylight up. I look in the sky and shit. Just fall asleep. I lean back. You're probably out in like two seconds. About two seconds, yeah. but for some reason, you know, after about good five minutes of sleeping, I just my, my eyes open. Nothing woke me up. Just my eyes open. Right? Not a sound. Nothing. I just to, open your eyes. Oh boy, I look to the left. Then I look to my right, out my passenger side, there's a guy looking in my window. <laughs> <laughs> Clean cut white guy. Abercrombie and Fitch. Fucking, yeah. Fucking ties. Clean. And, and I'm looking at him. And Did I'm you staring jump at him. Or? No. No. I don't get scared like that. Like, just. I can't Mo fucking movie have Movie fear fucks me up. Like, you know, creepy nah, shadow man. figures. But, like, people don't. Dude, fucking any... If I open my eyes and someone's there or, or something... Uh, you, you gotta... 
try to stay cool. Oh, and you got I almost got raped how... by that big black guy. I had stayed cool. <laughs> you got to understand how tinted my windows are. Oh, yeah. you got to understand this. Now, I look at him to try to give him like for thirty seconds. We're looking at each other, like <laughs> just kind of staring. So I, I finally go, okay, this nigga ain't leaving. I, I, I turn my key backwards, crack, crack my window about an inch. I go, what, what, what's up, man? He goes, it's cold out here. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's cold. It's cold out. I go, it's I go, cold out. Here. I go, I go, I go, what? He goes, it's cold out here. And he, and he tries my handle. Oh, my door. He pulls my door handle. Holy shit. It's cold out here. Pulls my door. I said, what? Well, go inside. <laughs> I, go, I go, well, go inside. It's coffee in there. Now, I'm sitting there not thinking anything except for this is some oh, crazy motherfucker man. who needs warmth. And I'm going, well, you know, I'm sorry, dude, but, you know, you're not going to warm up in my fucking yeah. car, you know? He thought you were a gangster fan. And so he walks away. I'm looking at him. And I'm yeah. still not. My my energy still isn't like what the fuck. I'm just like that was weird. You That's know, a little from odd. New York, right. you know. Yeah. So this I watch him. This motherfucker gets into a Subaru Outback with a Christmas tree on top. <laughs> And drives away, and oh, that's when, man. that's when the adrenaline kicked. I said, "This motherfucker, he was going, he was going to suck strange black dick before he went home to take a Christmas tree to his <laughs> fucking family." <laughs> <laughs> it gave me. It was like drinking fourteen cups of coffee and a red oh, bull. Oh, you were awake. Once I said, "This guy was a fat." I didn't know. I thought he was just a creepy cold guy. <laughs> He's creepy cold guy. A little I cold. Said, I, I felt so bad for women that this guy. I wanted to. It was almost like I let uh, something evil escape. Like I wanted right, right. to follow him and and, and just warn go everybody lair right. and go. This guy is smam. Your husband is trying to suck strange <laughs> gangster cock. And it 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 was a, and it was just like gangster fag song. It was a well dressed. Fucking businessman type sucking wow. dick at a Connecticut restaurant. White dude. Wow. It was un. It's cold out here. What? It's cold out here. That's something that you say. And pulls my fucking my hand like on my door. Like you felt like you let something evil escape. It, it like felt that. like I let him. Like I I should have. Like for the duty of the world, like just chase this guy. Because you think the family he's bringing that fucking Christmas tree oh home my has God. any clue that their husband is sucking rest stop dick and has a rest stop code? Like I'm going, if I was a fag, is that the code? It's cold out here. <laughs> oh, the, the pigeons fly in January. <laughs> Hop on in, faggot. Hop on it. <laughs> click the door unlocks. <laughs> click, click. You think he drove you know away with Christmas word. music in his car? And then, like, and then gets in and rubs his hand like, <laughs> yeah. it really was cold out there. Yeah, that yeah. wasn't the fat code, but it's yeah. chilly. I'm just cold. <laughs> helping a brother out. <laughs> what? That's what got me was the Subaru Outback, and I just covered my like mouth like, like I just let I let evil go. I let it go. I let it. I should have really followed him. Dude, honey, bro. honey, I'm home with the tree. With the Get the kids. Tree and he with the dude. It, I shouldn't even care about shit like that. You know what I'm saying? It's just it seems so evil. Man. Yeah. So fucking evil. Wow. Well, it's cold out here. It's cold out here. Well, anyone ask that? <laughs> Way to read the signs, though, you dummy. I'm such a. I'm so. Fu I'm a fag. You told him to go so in. Stupid. You told him to go into the McDonald's. Like, yeah, yeah, like yeah. that wouldn't be your oh, first like, thought if you were I'm really get cold. my dick sucked in McDonald's. <laughs> right. Wait a minute, yes. But John, listen. The, Fuck, I, thank you, Patrice. I was really stupid. I wasn't sure if I should go into this really Opie. warm building in your car. Opie. And now that you're telling me, Opie. of course that I should go I, in the building. I deserve the pounding you're about to give me. But it's like none of my reaction was you fucking faggot it was it's cold out here huh oh, well. and my mind was trying to think of a way and this is what i was thinking not get out of here fag it was hey i i can't i can't let you warm up in my car yeah i mean god bless you cold you. and it's a cold day but <laughs> go inside <laughs> i'm surprised you didn't tell the guy spirit what did they uh, lose their heat in there uh <laughs> What? You need some money for coffee? <laughs> yeah, you dummy. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Let's go to Paul the Trucker. Hey, Paul, what's up? It's what? Hold on, hold on, hold on, Paul. Sorry. 
<laughs> yeah, fuck the McDonald's or anything. He had his own car. Uh, no, I didn't Warm see in his car. No, you Holy shit, I, even no, better, Patrice. You know, yeah. I, didn't, Wait, I woke up. To so see you didn't him. know he had the car until later. I didn't even later. see this motherfucker. I woke up to see him at my passenger side with his face in my shit. But that even confirms it more because let's say he was a fucking drunk and he got thrown out of McDonald's. And that's why he was cold. Like, you could even rationalize that until he gets in his own car that fucking, like, has heat. <laughs> Someone's making a great point here. Brian in Rhode Island. Go ahead. Uh, Brian, go ahead. Hey, uh... Didn't this, didn't Patrice say that it was like three in the morning? What the hell is this guy doing out getting a Christmas tree at three in the morning? That's a that's, dude. This is the it whole. Have, it might have been his prop. The whole evil was going through my yeah. head. Like, honey, I'm I'm on the way. I work late. I'm yep. on the way home from blah blah blah. Dude, it, he had a family because he had a Subaru yeah. Outback and a Christmas tree on top. No, it's like it was so. After that is when it kicked in. The creepiness of it kicked in then. And I thought of it. What the fuck are you doing out here with a Christmas tree at three? You're just coming in. Well, hey, it's four, honey. You know, I picked up a Christmas tree from the all-night Christmas tree place yeah. up on Connecticut Boulevard. And this mother... Man, dude, it, 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 it it's cold out here. He was on some kind of fucking little business thing where he tells the wife, you know, I'm, I'm going to be working late. He's just perusing... Black men porno sites, getting himself all worked up. Has the Christmas tree. Three in the morning, he figures he better get home, and then he sees the rest stop. Here we go. <laughs> and you're just the prize I was, right there. I was, I was the you're grand prize. Merry mm. fucking Christmas. Mm. You might as well have put a bow around your fucking a mistletoe Merry on your belt buckle. Merry Christmas. Ho, 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 ho. Christmas. Here's a black gentleman for you. It's coming early, baby. Ho, 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 ho. Oh, shit. And what do you want, successful white man? <laughs> I'd like a black gangster cop <laughs> right here in the rest stop. And, and, I, and I am so, like, if you don't know me, you know, you know, I just like to dress like dress the part. Yeah. But you know, I'm a comedian. But my whole out thing is like uh you know, giant black dude. I'm in a tented up truck, I got my damn my hoodie on, my this and that. Yeah, and the first guy's... impression of that would be I'm not walking up to his fucking vehicle and asking directions. I'm not I'm not going for legitimate purposes to your fucking vehicle and knocking on the window while you're sleeping. And he just was looking like just I, I, stare. Can't, I can't even like was it crazy man radio. stare? It was just Looking, that's I, that's there of wanting, <laughs> to wanting. But then when he said his, when he when he made his wanting. move, when he made, he made his, his move, made his move, he didn't look at me. He turned to the so his his profile was at my window. His so, good side. So when I when I rolled the window down a little bit, what's up? And it just. He didn't look me in the eye. He just he didn't have the common decency to, to look, look you in the eye. eye to ask for the cock. That's cold out here. It's cold out here. All right, let's go to Paul. <laughs> He's a trucker. He has creepy <laughs> shit. <laughs> Paul the trucker, what's up? Hey, boys. Hey, hey man. Hey, uh, first thing, uh, before I get started, you got to crack on who for trying to with tonight's sex tapes and trying to be number one, but... I didn't... Uh, oh, the, oh uh, Howard's doing the Pat O'Brien sex tapes over and over again. He's already realizing yeah. he doesn't have enough material. Yeah, but... Um, Fucking was, asshole. So, as a truck driver, you know, the, the rest stops are like become the new gay bathhouses of America. But I was in Gwinnett, Georgia, and I stopped and I was waiting to go pick up a trailer. And, I, you know, I was there for about five or six hours. I went in to use the bathroom, and the phone rings. You know, the, the pay phone, and I'm like, oh, okay, whatever, I keep going. Come back, the phone rings again. I'm like, oh, okay. I'm pitching myself thinking I'm not in the twilight zone. Check in the truck, or maybe something to eat. Go back out. Get a uh, soda out of the vending machine. This phone rings again. I'm like, all right, what's up? So I'm looking around. I pick the phone. The guy's like, it's... Oh, suck your cock. And I'm going, huh, what? I'm looking around the phone. <laughs> Holy Jesus. So I hang the phone. I'm walking back, and this cop pulls up, and he's just laughing his ass off. And I go, what's so funny? He goes, you answered the phone, didn't you? I go, yeah, why? Because I was watching. He goes, there's probably some gay guy in the car over here wanting to blow you. And I was like, what? He's like, oh, yeah. He goes, this is like the prime homosexual hangout. Here. Well, like, and, and they know the pay phone number? What they do is, yeah, they pull up and they get the payphone number. Then when you walk by, they dial it, and you pick it up. It's like, it's such a cock. Sags oh, it's just like, holy oh. Jesus. Sag's a genius. Because genius. if I started to beat the shit out that motherfucker, all he said was, it's cold out here. It's cold out here. Go, I'm, I'm, oh. I'll jerk your balls. Right. It's like they're so covert. 
just no, to get in. Keep up the good work, boys. All right, thanks, Paul. You know what it's good like? Story. It's like Dracula. You got to invite him in. <laughs> See, that's what <laughs> it's cold out, here. and and you're, you you had to then invite him in and in order to knew, make the next when step. When he knew I wasn't a fag, he immediately bounced. But it wasn't like okay, it wasn't like oh sorry, is I'm a fag. I didn't mean he left like you ever see that 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 thing in the ma in the Godfather where they say, "Listen, you don't <laughs> run, you don't walk, don't look no one in the eye, no you don't look away you either. Don't look away either. That's how he left. He just goes, oh, all right, and walk calmly away, like almost like he knew I would be in shock if I wasn't a uh, 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 right. Bag. Don't like, give you any time to really think about it. Just leave the situation. <laughs> Let's go, Jeremy, the trucker. Jeremy. Hey, what's up, guys? Hey, man. Hey, where's Jimmy's race? Love your show. Where's Jimmy? What? Never mind. It's a Jeremy. Sorry. Jimmy from I've been up about a year ago, and uh, Jimmy was brought up on the radio many, many times. So yourself. it was a recurring yeah, thing that I decided to go with, and it failed miserably. Uh, yes, Jeremy. What do you have? <laughs> uh, I got a story kind of similar to Patricia's. Well, it wasn't nearly as freaky because the guy wasn't pulling on my door handle. Or that, <laughs> <laughs> I was, and I'm from Montana, and this happened at, 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 where I grew up. Home, you know, homos weren't even around me, so I'm like the biggest homophobe fucking walking around, right? And one, I'm driving outside of Billy, and this car pulls up alongside me, and then he's just kind of hanging out there for a while. And I look over, and this guy's got a great big notepad, and he's holding it up on the passenger seat. So it's angled up at me, and in big black letters, he's got BJ written on it. And it's like, it didn't sink in at first. I kind of like looked at it like, and then when I caught on to what was going on, I'm like, this fucker! And I just kind of swerve at him, and he swerves away, and then he pedals on up the road. He's going to want to kill him. <laughs> Jesus Christ, oh, Starsky yeah, and Hutch. <laughs> oh, the, all the uh, phones just blew up. Oh. I know that guy's story. What happened? Sorry, sir. They all just went bye-bye. Oh, yeah. shit. That oh, happens well. with the phones here on this show. He's like swatting saw. homos like you <laughs> swat flies. <laughs> 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 all right, well. Oh, shit. We're on to something. <laughs> <laughs> what can I tell you?